Hello, my name is Gedminas, I'm part-time Amazon FBA seller. In today's video, I will share with you how you can source your products for online arbitrage using Bybot Pro. For those of you who don't know what the online arbitrage is, is basically buying your products online and reselling them on different marketplace for a higher price and making profit. In this case, reselling it on Amazon. This is video number three. I have recently created two similar videos. I will leave them in the comment section below. If you want to watch them, please do as I share a lot of interesting and valuable information in those videos as well. Also, I will be using Bybot Pro to analyze these deals. If you don't know what a Bybot Pro is, I will also leave a couple of useful videos in the comment section below that you can watch to get a better understanding and knowledge about Bybot Pro. Let's just jump straight into this video. So I am currently at Argos website. I'm in their two for 30 pounds on toy section. And what I like to do when I'm analyzing my deals in these type of promotions. I like to sort it by high to low price before I even analyze all of the products because I just like to get best value for my money. Right, so let's just do it. So wait, the way you sort your products using this uh, method is basically you need to just scroll on the product's name, right hand click, and if you just select this buybotpro.co.uk, what it does, it pre-populates all of this information and you just need to find the product. In this case, it's this product here. And you can click either on the name or buy bot pro. It also displays quite few useful information. So it gives you reviews, ASIN number, buy box, best sellers rank here as well. You can scroll through images as well here, as, which is quite useful. So yeah, if you want to just go and analyze this product further, just click on the name. And what it does, it pre-populates all of the information for you. You just need to enter your buy price. In this case, it's 15 pounds. And if you click analyze, you can start analyzing your deals. So this deal, return on investment is below 20% and profit is quite low. So I wouldn't straight away, would not go for this product. Um, you can just, we can just quickly see the charts. Yeah, this, you can see Amazon is on the listing as well. And uh, I would not, I would personally not be buying this product just because it's return on investment is too low and there is profits are too low as well for me. Okay, uh, let's try this product here. Right, okay, so we can see this product is right here. Let's analyze this further. All right, once again, just in, enter your buy price, click analyze. Right, so return on investment is slightly higher. Profit is almost six pounds, which is quite nice. Um, estimated sales, quite low, to be honest. Let's just see the charts. Right, so you can see the charts. There is not a lot of movement. As I mentioned in my previous videos, each dip kind of indicates that sale. So in this case, you can see since December, there's only been like three sales. So this product is quite low selling. Well, maybe you can consider a couple of sales here. So this product is quite low selling product. So if you're a new seller, I would not recommend buying these type of deals just because you're, you would have to hold on your stock for a long period of time. You want to see nice movement in your charts up and down um, if you're a new seller. So I would probably stay away from this deal as well. Let's try this one here. Right, this product here, let's go buy bot pro. Okay, once again, buy price 15. Try again. Decent return investment, nice profits. Not a lot of estimated sales at all. There is nobody on the listing. Let's have a look what's going on. Right, blank. Not, no, this listing been, has been active for 158 days. Only a couple of sales, as you can see, there is no best sellers rank at all on this chart. So I would definitely be staying away from this listing as well. Let's see. Let's try this one here. So by the looks of it, there currently is two different listings. I would probably try this one because it has more reviews. Uh, and you can see BSR here, whereas this one has only for the reason that you can't see the vessel in the trunk. Let's let's just quickly check. Rocky, so I am gated. I won't be able to sell this product. Let's just quickly try to 
see if it's gonna let me automatically outgate. There you go. So yeah, sometimes it just automatically engage you. Let's enter the buy price, analyze once again. Let's have a look. Nice return investment, decent profit, and there is only Amazon in the listing. Let's check the charts quickly uh, because it says you're knowledgeable to sell. That's the hence the reason why it's low. But as you can see, I just engaged, so I can sell this product. Right. Let's have a look. Right. Okay. So. You can see, like, even the graph PSR is increasing. You can still see these pink boxes, which indicates there are some sales, right? And there is some sort of movement. Um, it's still probably quite a slow seller, as you can see, only five units per month, and then it's next 10 units in the next 90 days. As you can currently see, there is not any other sellers on this listing, so you could potentially buy a couple of units, just ship it to Amazon, make this quick money. I would probably be buying more than two or three or four just because it's too risky in case more people are joining and yeah um i would not be comfortable buying more personally right let's do last one let's try this one here okay so once again by the looks of it couple of different listings this one is 13 pounds so straight away i'm not entering it but i think it's this one here because you can see the names are similar. Let's just click on it, let's check it out. So I can likely sell, there's not a lot of data. Um, yeah, I don't see anything at all. Let's just quickly check the charts. Once again, BSR, it's 700,000. I will not be entering this at all. You can just see constant increase. Uh, there is just really no point entering listings like this. You can see a couple of buy boxes over the course of what, three, months uh, yeah just definitely stay away from listings like that as well right okay so in today's video i just kind of wanted to share what products you can potentially look out for when you're sourcing just stay away from these type of products you can sometimes test but you need to be very careful as you don't want to lose your money as well you want to enter the listings where is there consistent movement in the graph uh, a lot of buy boxes as well competition not too high and yeah, I hope these type of videos are useful and you're enjoying them. Please let me know, drop a comment and also like and subscribe if you haven't done it already. And thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.